Kneel before your AI godhead. Ex-Google and ex-Uber engineer Anthony Lewandowski has decided to preempt the AI apocalypse by forming a robot religion called the Way of the Future. According to Wired, papers filed with the IRS in May put Lewandowski as the dean and CEO of the nonprofit religion. Lewandowski is ex-Google and ex-Uber, and there's a story behind that. Google alleges that Lewandowski swiped self-driving car IP while working for them prior to his creating his driverless car company, Auto. Auto was later bought by Uber for 680 million U.S. dollars. Now Uber and Google are embroiled in a lawsuit over the IP theft allegations. Lewandowski pled the fifth during the hearings. Uber fired him for not cooperating, and the judge ordered federal prosecutors to investigate. All of that is still ongoing. But back to the way of the future. Lewandowski's robo-religion has a gospel, reportedly dubbed the Manual. They'll worship the Godhead, an advanced AI they predict will evolve to hold godlike intelligence. Now, we can't tell if Lewandowski is being real, trolling, or pulling a Hubbard and doing the Elrond dance. What's your take? Better call Neo. Robots will soon be able to have your babies. Okay, so maybe your companion bot can't pop out a real-life baby, but there's still always 3D printing. Wait, what? Catalan engineer Sergei Santos really likes robots. We mean, really likes, which is probably why he created Samantha. Santos says his robot will soon be able to have a conversation with him and judge his character. Unfortunately, saying no still won't work for her, so kind of like Hollywood. The creepy creator says you can even make a child with your Samantha bot. Santos says all it takes is an algorithm, a 3D printer, and voila! A bot for sexy times that you can create a fake child with? What more could you ask for? A lot, actually. Maybe Santos is onto something? Besides his robot, that is. E equals MC Humanity Screwed. This cyborg Einstein and his Saudi fembot buddy dished out a harsh prognosis for humanity this week. Both are designed by Hong Kong robot firm Hansen Robotics. Speaking at the Web Summit conference in Portugal, Einstein bot called humans problematic and said they need to heal themselves. Though a robot professor reportedly theorizes that we will be the issue when it comes to cooperation between humanity and robots, not the cyborgs. Think that's bad? Well, his fembot buddy Sophia says they're going to take our jobs. Einstein bot also says humanity cannot solve issues like the climate, violence, or terrorism. Does that mean robots will? Who knows? But if the robots did, perchance, stumble into the DPRK and solve that issue for us, would it really be such a bad thing? This robot water snake hunts pollution on autopilot. Meet Lake Geneva's newest swimmer, the Envirobot, an autonomous pollution hunter. Gulp! The Envirobot is four feet long and comprises several special purpose modules that constitute its eel-like design. The purpose of these modules are twofold. First, each has a small electric motor that lets the robot swim like a water snake. Secondly, each segment has a unique sensor for gathering a variety of data. For example, biological sensors contain tiny organisms or bacteria that react to the presence of pollutive toxins. Meanwhile, electrical sensors can track water temperature and chemical sensors test water acidity. More modules can be added as needed. The robot can swim on a route or make its own way through a body of water to find the source of pollution. And while it's very cool, uh, we're not exactly sure we'd want it swimming beside us. How would taxation of robots work? Calls from the British Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn to publicly manage automation this week have led to speculation he's looking to tax robots, but how would that work? Replacing workers with robots means less salary and more profit for businesses, but also less taxes on salary for the state to collect. Any robot tax would likely need to fill this gap in public finances. The Institute for Fiscal Studies estimates that the British government will collect £716.5 billion for the tax year 2016-2017. to 43.1% or £308.6 billion of this is contributed by the 30 million people in the British workforce. 
Separately, a PwC study estimates that 10 million British workers may lose their jobs to automation. If permanent and not counting the amount the government may save from automation, this would lead to a shortfall of 92.6 billion pounds, or 30 percent, in what the British state collects. A flat robot tax may help fill this gap. However, calls for automation to help people live comfortably via state-provided benefits, such as universal income, may well see automation taxes rise. But such a move would likely scare off private industry from investing in the United Kingdom.